you want to keep water out of the wall cavities of your house, if you want to stop your houses from falling apart, if you want to stop building disposable housing, you have to use flashing tapes. And the person who installs the flashing tapes either has to be the framer, the last thing he does, or the roofing contractor, the first thing he does. Because by the time the roof's on and the framer's left, it's just too late. And everything after that is a half step. And there's all these debates about water migration through the walls and whether Tyvek is better than Typhar. Well, I'm telling you, if you're taking a bottle and pouring water into your wall, it doesn't make a damn bit of difference whether you've got vapor transmission. And that's what we're all doing. If you're a builder and you've never had any water infiltration problems, if you think you can install the roofing and the siding and the house wrap and the flashing so water will never get into the wall cavity, then you really don't even need to watch this video. But if you've ever had water infiltration issues, I will tell you that water will get under any roofing material, water will get under any roofing underlayment, water will get behind vinyl siding, fiber cement siding, wood siding, brick, stone, and water will get beneath compromised house wrap. There are literally dozens of people involved in the construction of any home today. They work long hours in good weather and bad. They move tons of material. They expose themselves to the elements in dangerous working conditions. And I've literally looked at thousands of new homes in all stages of construction, and invariably these same people that work so hard and so long, when it comes to the last 5 or 10 or 15 minutes, when it comes to the last 50 or 100 or 200 dollars, the whole system falls apart. A roofer can install thousands of pounds of roofing so it looks correct, generally doesn't leak, and then they get to a pencil sized hole, they don't quite know what to do with it, they make a temporary fix, we've created disposable housing. Framer installs house wrap on the walls, keeps most of the water out, keeps most of the air infiltration out, it's a wonderful product, but invariably before the job's done, by the time the trades get done cutting it up, there's dozens of places where the house wrap is compromised. In every house I've ever seen, the house wrap is compromised. The siding contractor comes along. A lot of times they cut off the kickout flashing that the roofer so carefully installed. Leave some holes around the penetrations, compromises the house wrap. We've got disposable housing. Framer installs the windows, puts caulk around most of the opening. Water comes in six foot above the window, gets behind the house wrap, gets behind the window flange, rots out the sill, rots out the wall. Every chimney chase I've ever seen leaks. The HVAC guy comes along, does a great job of installing the furnace, the air conditioner, and then chops a hole in the roof. Most of the time, they don't flash it correctly. The drywall supply house sets the drywall into the house. He has to cut the house wrap, has to cut the sheathing. When the crane company comes out to set the walls, their hooks puncture holes in the walls. The electrician and the plumber and the HVAC all have to cut through the roof and the siding and the house wrap. And even if all the trades work well together and try to do everything perfect, Three, four, five, six years from now, homeowner calls another contractor in to add a window, add cable TV, put in a new dryer. That contractor will cut through the siding, through the roof, through the house wrap, and compromise the home. There seems to be a trend today for complicated houses, complicated architecture. Builders are designing homes with dead valleys in the roof, smaller overhangs. If you look up at a house and there's leaves and debris gathered, you can be sure there's water under those leaves and debris. You can be sure in the winter there's going to be ice and snow and melted water where there's leaves and debris. Whether it's in your gutters or at the end of a dead valley or behind a chimney, when you see a projection coming out of a wall, you can be reasonably sure that water is going to get in that projection and drip down the wall. What could be less environmentally friendly than building homes where the windows and the walls have to be replaced every 15 or 20 years, where the new homes have to be torn down in 30 or 40 years because the interior walls are rotted out? I've watched contractors of every level of competence. I've spent 40 years watching houses rot out and fall apart. If you're building a new home or remodeling an existing home, you have to assume water's going to get underneath the roofing, water's going to get underneath the underlayment, water's going to get behind vinyl siding, fiber cement siding, brick, 
Water's going to get underneath compromised house wrap. Water's going to seep into all of the penetrations. All the soil stacks on the roof, all the HVAC pipes, all the roof vents, all the dryer vents, all the electrical outlets, all the windows, all the chimneys, all the chimney chases. Water will reach the surface of the wall at those points. If we keep building houses the way we are now, they'll continue to be disposable. The walls will continue to rot out. The windows will continue to rot out. Some of it will be apparent right away. There'll be stains in the drywall. There'll be water dripping in the home. Most of it, though, is insidious. Most of it just oozes around the cracks and in the crevices, oozes into our wall. But if liquid water gets in the wall cavity, nothing else matters. A little water over a lot of time destroys the wall. If you want to stop building disposable housing, you need to understand that roofing and siding and house wrap and metal flashing will keep about 98% of the water out of your homes. Kind of like having an umbrella with a few holes in it. Better than not having the umbrella, but you're still going to get wet. The 2% of the water that gets past these products will rot out your walls, rot out your windows, destroy the house. If you're tired of building disposable housing and you want to stop water infiltration, here's how to do it. You're going to put flexible flashing tape at every roof wall interface. You're going to put it around all your windows. You're going to put it around all your penetrations. You're going to put it up your corners. You're going to tape the joints in your sheathing. If you want to keep water out of your walls, learn to use a fully adhered membrane and learn to use it properly. Anytime there's a penetration in the wall, anytime there's a roof wall interface, anytime there's a projection, you need to flash it permanently and securely with a fully adhered flashing tape. There's some good tapes, there's some bad tapes. You've got to find the one that'll stick. Remember, the tapes are taking the place of counter flashing. If they don't stick to the wall so well you can't pull it off, you haven't done anything. So I don't care what tape you use, I don't care where you buy it, but if you can't make it stick, it's worthless. And it doesn't matter what the weather's like. If you're going to build a house in cold, wet weather, then you have to make these products stick in cold, wet weather. Can't tell a homeowner, well, we built your house in January, of course your walls are rotting out. You might have to use primers, you might have to use heat guns. You're certainly going to want to roll it into the wall. If it doesn't stick, you haven't done anything. It's taking the place of counter flashing. It's going to shunt water that gets underneath all these other materials back onto the drain plane, and it can only do that if it sticks to the wall. You can't afford not to use these products. They're not expensive. Just learn how to put them on properly. The total cost of completely flashing a home the way I'm talking about would probably be less than we're spending on one big screen TV set. Learn the techniques to use these products. Your house is going to last 50 or 100 years instead of 20 years. I think most consumers have given a choice between an upgrade in the home entertainment center and walls that won't rot out would choose walls that won't rot out. I've spent the last 40 years watching houses fall apart. There's just no way to consistently coordinate dozens of different contractors in varying weather conditions on a budget with a time schedule to keep and keep water out of the wall cavities using traditional techniques. It just can't be done. Sure, you might flash a chimney correctly. You might flash most of your walls correctly. If you're a better builder, most of your house wrap's going to be intact. Most of your windows are going to be flashed correctly. Most of your roof wall interfaces are going to be flashed correctly. But if you want to consistently keep the water out of your wall cavities, you need to have the framing contractor or a flashing specialist or the roofing contractor install these tapes at all the places I'm showing you. And I think it's time to use these techniques, price them into the house, let people know you're using them, get credit for it, and start building houses that'll last 50 or 100 years.